show you guys the album in all of its beauty, start to finish. And you get me talking in between, talking about the tracks, giving you a bit of inside information. Honestly, this has been such a lovely time for us and we couldn't be more grateful to be releasing our debut album with Mongolia. So I'm trying to find a good music situation. What's up, everybody? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. So I'm trying to find a good music situation because yesterday I had 18 copyright strikes. <laughs> so. There's so many windows open on my computer right now. I don't know how it's not just... choking to death. Alright. <sighs> and I gotta tell you, I feel weird. I feel weird today. Not great, not bad, just not 100%. So, I don't know what to do about that. But, what I do know is that we can talk about some art and some assignments and stuff. Talk about monsters and whatever else, I suppose. Thank you. Yeah. Got my, uh, my books, some art. Got my dashy plushy right there. So Mega Man, I'm gonna turn on Mega Man though. Now we got it just comes out white in the picture. <laughs> Mega Man. Lighting is not good. Anyway. So Mega Man can hang out. Right here. Here we go. Yeah, so I streamed I don't know, I've been streaming on Twitch for like two years off and on, so kind of built this room up to be something worth looking at, you know? It's cooler at night. The lighting's more extreme. Anyway, enough about me. You guys have truly, uh, anyway, for, for those who don't know or just grouping in and watching from... YouTube or wherever else, Twitter. Uh, this is going to be me hanging out with my character design class from Webster on the internet. Um, so track number two, that's what we do now. Hang out on the internet. The title track. And like this track like mole about, people. Uh, basically, I went into a writing session with some other very renowned kind of top songwriters they've written, like, written loads of pop songs <coughs> and really big hits and um previous to that me and max had written everything ourselves and management wanted me to have a go doing a writing session just to kind of get a feel of what but you guys like. really taking this interview, horror aesthetic and run with it really uh, scary uh, i've only ever written by myself or with oh, this one chick's talking to my ear. I can't. I can't talk with somebody talking to my ear. Six months to get comfortable. Do it. Even me and Max writing together. It took us a while to get comfortable because you're putting your ideas out there and you're very. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> um. 
so yeah you guys really ran with this horror aesthetic it's kind of scarring so uh first things first i suppose we've got um we got ethan's dog's about to start barking anyway so Ethan's um, he says is a tailor I want to go to playlist because I don't like this album at all can we just do new releases bit disjointed and so not organized but uh hey that is you all right so this is a tailor and um looks like he's a puppeteer as well i'm not knowing if that's uh a person that he's puppeteering or if it's just a puppet but he's got the measuring tape around his neck which is nice nice touch there um So I know it's just a sketch, so I don't really have a lot to say right now. Uh, looks good. Uh, of course, you know, we're going to want to do turnarounds, right? Uh, what did we say? What was the assignment? Was it a three point? Four point? I know I bumped it up on you. Let's go look. Four point. Okay, so you're gonna have to find a really cool. It's a victim. I thought so. Um, so you're gonna want to find a cool pose, for the, and then turn that around four times. You know this, but um, yeah, he's he's pretty awful. He also has a uh, close-up face shot here. <laughs> just got four big four big chompers for um that's right two point head so you already got one of the head I guess technically just do one more and don't mirror it don't just do the same thing like this and go oh look it's <laughs> it's two point rotation so give yourself a challenge do like a straight on maybe or a profile um I always tell people too, like, uh, and I think I might have said this in this class already, the stance that your characters are standing in, redundant, is a good way to, um, get more character out, right? Like this is an opportunity for you to, uh, show what kind of person they are, why they stand this way, what's their, what's their posture. You know, because you could do it like a T-pose, just have them standing straight up, but you're missing an opportunity to, to have a character moment, right? So pick a, pick an appropriate pose. Yeah, explosion, uh, expression's great. Now, is he actually happy, or is he just <laughs> stretched out to look that way? Yeah, also it looks like you've got some pretty big hands. Which could be a interesting feature. At least this hand is big, unless it's supposed to be closer to us, but that still could be a nice terrifying feature. Um God, pink is like blinding my eyes. There we go. <laughs> okay, so he's not smiling. <laughs> Okay, got it. Well, 
It's really weird how this pink is like hurting my eyes on this gray background. And as soon as I take that away, it's like, oh, it's like a it's like a deep magenta. Is that weird. Anyway, so yeah, cool sketch, cool idea. I'm gonna love to see. Uh, you said you're already doing studies of mummified corpses and stuff, so I would love to see that like, you know, emaciated, sinewy look when their uh, skin's starting to thin out and you can see the striations of the muscles through the skin, stuff like that. You know, that kind of stuff. A lot of texture. Maybe some uh, spots of necrosis. If that's the goal, if that's the thing you're looking for, you know. If he climbs around a lot, maybe some, some bare bones poking out. Where his skin is not healing. Stuff like that would be pretty cool. Lots of opportunities for uh, texture and things, so. Do you have any, um, do you have any requests? Sorry, that was probably really loud. Do you have any requests? Things you need help with or you kind of like the direction you're going? one is uh, Angel. Angel says she's going for like a cryptid thing, so I imagine this is a little hide in the shadows kind of creature. Uh, obviously still in its infancy. Um, and I would obviously say if it's all black, you probably... Uh, Maybe robbing yourself of an opportunity for some detail in the final. Um, so like as you uh, you're turning around something four points that's just all black would be like, how long would that take you, <laughs> right? It's basically a silhouette. And I know there's probably lots of creatures, namely I can think of a lot of Studio Ghibli characters that are all black, they're like little forest spirits. with little rattly heads that went oh those are all white never mind again very simple though that it doesn't take very long to draw these things you know yeah of course this doesn't uh not real complicated right um that's so cool so i don't know i guess these things are amazing and left a long impression in my head so um, maybe you don't need to have a fully realized textured character to, to be memorable, so maybe I'm being too harsh on you. No, I'm not being harsh at all, I'm just maybe, maybe, maybe you don't need to be complicated for it to be, uh, finished and interesting, so, um... Yeah, you can also do that too, yeah, it's sort of wispy, like, It's whiskey. But, yeah, I don't know, it could be simple. Like the little spirits I shared. Just do a nice, clean four point rotation. Give it some personality. Um, just know that, you know, people like Matthew are gonna do this huge, giant, 3,000 foot monster and fill it with uh, texture and rivets and spend you know dozens of hours on it 
you know, I'm not asking everybody to 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 bust their ass and lose their mind over these uh, these projects, but some some of the students are gonna really, really, really dump a lot of time into this, you know. Um, like the robots one, you know, everybody had different levels of robot, but um, I really hate that these all song all these songs are singing. I cannot talk over singing. Um, sheesh. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, so when you do a little cartoon, it's gonna take you maybe a couple hours. Then, um, just think about people that are putting in dozens of hours. You know what I mean? So just just try to be mindful of that as you as you create something that might be a little easy. Um, again, I, I don't have a problem with it because there are characters that uh, that require simplicity. And not every assignment requires dozens of hours, but it's just going to look like I made a thing and, you know, I'm probably over explaining myself, but kudos to those who make a design that's simple and kudos to those who put dozens of hours into something and it's just, uh, that's all I really need to say about that. So make it look good, make it look great, make it look like you challenged yourself and, uh, and that's all I have to say about that, probably. Yeah, and I know I'm talking a lot about a sketch, <laughs> but... I just wanted to say that as we all put assignments out in front of people, you know, we all have our busy lives and lives are definitely upside down right now. So spending time on something is definitely going to get tricky. Um, but cool, cool, cool. All right. The next thing I hate to share was this Spencer's Who was this? Yeah. But I'm, I'm gonna share it, I guess. We got the we got the poop monster. Um, I mean, this is this is awful. This is clearly, truly, truly awful. But here we are. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. His other idea was he said uh, a monster based on uh, the horoscope Gemini. Which is a cool concept, not clearly not as terrifying. Yet, anyway, it could be once it's all done. Uh, now, when I first saw this, I wasn't thinking poop. Oh, so I thought, okay, so this is, is this your poop monster? <laughs> um. Yeah, okay. Alright, I thought I read that up above, but I wasn't quite sure. Anyway. When I first saw this, I wasn't thinking it was poop. I was thinking it was some sort of butt parasite. Like, imagine if it takes over people and then, like, makes their top half fall off. Right? So you just have a spine. I don't know why he's got a top hat, but... <laughs> but then the way it like gets around and infects other people is through the bottom half it just walks around like a two-legged creature <laughs> and then like attacks people from the butt so I was thinking this was like a parasite thing and then there'd be like teeth <laughs> Spotify ads. Great. <laughs> I really get copyright strikes and listen to ads, to be honest. Gross. Yeah, I can't handle ads. That's why. I'd I don't do Spotify. Too many ads. All right, I'm gonna just do like something else. Yeah, 
yeah, we'll stand by. All right. All right, so if you're not doing a Parasite Butt Monster and you're doing a two-headed Gemini guy, humanoid bug at the moment. Okay. Could be cool. Um, yeah, I would just say the anatomy of a two-headed, four-armed person would be really difficult. Especially if you just go like the Mortal Kombat Gor Goro route, where it's just, I mean, he's got one head. But he's basically just got like four pectorals. And then like four shoulders. Right? He's got one head, but yeah. The, uh, the anatomy gets tricky unless you do like that crazy stuff from uh, the thing where it's all, you know, distorted and strange. You know, instead of looking uh, structurally possible, it just looks like a structural abomination. But yeah, I'll let you post what you're working on later instead of focusing on. God, that's so awful. <laughs> Instead of putting notes on things you're not working on. Uh, next we got uh, Matt's. Matt, what do you want to tell us about what you're working on here? Got a couple silhouettes. We got like a upright Godzilla kind of guy. Another two-legged thing. Maybe with a wing and a tail. instruction to hold on. We've all been instructed to hold on. There's 23 people live in the Discord right now. That's pretty cool. There's 11 people in here. Oh, he's posting a new image. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> all right. Zap. You've been busy today, huh? Oh. Nice. So we got some sort of like necrotic dinosaur in a vest. <laughs> kind of looks like an undead like uh Kind of looks like an undead, like, old martial arts master, right? Like, you journey deep into a cave and find out how to do, like, the, the touch of death from this guy. Pretty cool. It is okay to post anything at any time. Yeah, that's very cool. Uh, very cool. I love it. That's great. Uh, there's a lot of details in the arms and stuff that I would love to see finalized. Um, again, just finding the right photo reference would be clutch. Um, Like uh, just regular lizard arms or crocodile arms or something like that. Um, I just spelled crocodile. <laughs> oh, and he's got somebody's hand in his mouth. That's epic. 
<laughs> Man's arm ripped off by crocodile, then f gets fined for trespassing. <laughs> That's funny. Um, don't you think like losing his arm was enough of a fine? Anyway, so there's like there's this uh, really beautiful uh, rhythm to uh, nature and scales and stuff like that, where it doesn't have to be quite so random and terrifying to draw. Um, if you know what I mean by that, like. <laughs> Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, skin is rocky texture. Well, that does... The metal shelf. Gotcha. Rocky texture. All right. Well, then let's scrap a crocodile. Uh, so, b b b like, uh, how about the Balrog from Lord of the Rings? He's rock, right? I also didn't know what a Balrog was. Hadn't read the book in a long time. So when Gandalf said it, I thought he said bowel rock. Like a rock out of the bowels of the earth. It made sense to me at the time. So, okay, so his just looks sort of like cracked magma, which is very cool. It also looks very snake-like, right? Definitely looks like lava rock, but the lava is still coming through. Pretty cool. Um, uh, yeah, I know you're saying it's just patterns. It just looks very random. And I know it's rough and you're not finished, but that just looks like uh, just random scratches. And I don't think that's gonna work because it just looks like random scratches it doesn't look like your ideas are finalized and I know this is not it's a sketch but you're also working on a turnaround here so you're making progress so uh, I would like to see some sort of finalized idea for the texture um, You know, there's things you could do to make it look like rock, but still following a sort of, uh, sort of, uh, design principle, if that's the right thing to say at this time. So it still looks like a rock, but it's also still a little random. I don't mean to copy the Balrog exactly. I have drawn rocks before. I said Balrog again, didn't I? I don't mean to copy the Balrog exactly, because that's just copying. But, uh. That's awesome. Very cool. I like the idea. The Jewish have some very cool lore. <laughs> Um, I would say this, okay, so looking at the anatomy, which I know anatomy doesn't much mass, mon, uh, matter to monsters, but, uh, uh, this lump here and this lump here is a little strange. Um, I know it's a lizard thing, but you've got a very good looking, uh, shoulder, uh, aka deltoid. You've got a very good looking, uh, tricep here. Uh, the muscles in the forearm are just crazy enough to look kind of convincing. Uh, but it kind of looks like he's got two bicep lumps, which is strange. You can keep it that way, that's fine. He's a lumpy creature anyway. Uh, but typically, you know, if that's how you're going to play it, you know, bicep stop, or uh, deltoid stop here, and technically there's three of them. And then the bicep connects, connects all the way up into the armpit. Uh down to the next bone so the bicep is just one long big huge long strand and then you've got the uh, uh, frick I forgot what it was called the, the muscle that runs here and stuff like that and all these guys uh, and 
and then the triceps sort of bend in around the sides like this. There's three uh, three major muscle groups for the tricep, right? Three, tri. It's things to think about, not too crucial, considering it'll all be rock eventually in the future, but there are some pretty cool uh, choices you can make with muscle. Um, authenticity to make it look a little more, I don't know, believable. Also, you've got sort of a stovepipe arm kind of thing going on here. It's just sort of straight lines. So if you stuck to those same principles and because uh, that one arm looked nice and nice and structured and then this one looks sort of unfinished, you know, let's make some decisions on the uh, musculature and stick with it. Uh, also, give yourself some guidelines. Yeah. A lot of, see that? A lot of chances here to uh, clean up your designs, make it look. Uh, even though we're not going digital, guys, there's a lot of opportunities here to make these look nice and tight and uh, get yourself a ruler and, and draw yourself some guidelines so that we're still creating nice, uh, clean, finished looking art on paper. Say the top of the head's pretty close. This arm was way off, so all you have to do is just bring the arm up to this line here. Um, and then look at some anatomy drawings for uh, muscles and stuff like that. Give them some cool lizard arms, right? And then go in afterwards with some texture. Um, and also just look up like a cliff wall. I do that all the time. Anytime I've got nature shots, rocks and stuff. I look up cliff walls and I browse for a while until I find one that I like. And you know, of course they're disasters. <laughs> but ones that are like a clean break from the shelf. Um, you can see all the, the layers of sediment over the years. So that would definitely make it easier, but I don't think that's the kind of texture you're going for. And then of course if you go for something like this, that's just a disaster. There's no way to draw that easily. <laughs> That's uh, that's a nightmare, this too, pure nightmare. But then you can find things like this. Again, that's that's more like I said, like a clean break, right? Like uh, earthquake happened and two plates cracked, and this is you're seeing the uh, cross section, cross section, just sort of like cutting a tree in half, right? Wow, that's cool. Um, and then there's textures like this where it's just complete nonsense, right? So uh, it's sort of your job as an illustrator to grab all these details that nature gives you and uh, draw as little or as much of them to make it believable, but not so much detail that it just looks like a mess. So, but uh, it looks great. Spend some time on the folds of the clothing. Put some texture in that skin like you have for a lot of it. Just keep going, man. Keep grinding. It looks awesome. You got a full week to go. So, um, yeah, very cool. Draw those guidelines, though. It'll really clean it up. Very good. I knew you would like coming to this with like a mountain of detail. It's kind of your bag. Oh, why'd that go away? All right, next up, uh, is EP. Who is EP? Who is you? But you're up next with this horrible, <laughs> horrible nightmare.
Um, not much to say on this one. Um, <coughs> it's just awful. <laughs> um, I yeah, this looks finished. I wouldn't mind seeing it like one more pass with ink. You know, like uh, you have a week. It does look like it could be inked. It's kind of a low res picture. Uh, but you do have a week. So you could. Uh, I don't know if you have access to a computer or not, but if this were mine, uh, I would uh, go over it one more time and just uh, do stuff like this, you know, just make sure each detail is super crisp. Tracing over my old layer. And maybe incorporating a few more details, like around the gums and stuff like that, right? So, uh, if you have access to a computer, drop the opacity, put another layer on top, do some inking. Like I said, you got a week to do it. And just do cool stuff like this, right? You got all the time in the world to just dig into some of these, these details that you've uh, started. Uh, your piece looks mostly finished. If you handed it in, you'd be fine. However, uh, and I know what you sent me is sort of low res, it's definitely a cell phone picture, which is fine. We work with what we've got right now. But look at the difference between that and uh, that, right? This is still kind of sketchy. Um, there's some like, a lot of gray in here from the pencil mixing with the ink. So yeah, I guess you did ink it. Um, it'd be really cool to just uh, go back over it one more time. One more time. It wouldn't hurt. Right? Yeah, look how, look how clean that looks. How cool that is, right? Yeah, this is awful and fantastic. I love it. Really, really awful. It's definitely like prime movie awfulness. So, good job there. And I think, as far as the uh, Discord goes, that's the last one I got. Nope, there's another one. Chelsea's. And Ethan again. Chelsea's working on this guy, and I'll read the description in a second, even though you guys are all in the Discord anyway. You never know, there might be a sh random YouTuber on here just hanging out. If you are, thank you. Random Facebooker, maybe? I don't know. So this is Chelsea's. She says... Uh, it's a forest creature. Bulbous. Lives in the ground. Up to the eye. The middle of the eye. Skin is very plant-like. The lashes on the eye is supposed to look like grass or small branches. The top is the mouth that usually remi uh, remains remains closed. Still trying to play with ideas and accessories. Uh, not, uh, and she wants to add more. Not sure what. It's my fourth monster style. I keep running into things I don't like. Okay, so, um, and we got Spencer's bug person. That's pretty cool. All right, so the only thing I don't like is how much of an eye it is, which of course, if I saw that in the woods, would absolutely freak me out. So maybe that's perfect, right? If this, if I was walking in the woods and this thing opened up and it had a hot, an eye and teeth like that, I would probably lose my mind. So uh, maybe keep it. Um, you know, human eyes look like they do because they're human eyes and have been designed 
uh, that way. I said designed. It's not what I meant. It's, you know, they look the way they look because of the, the, the thing they live in. So a, an eye and a tree or whatever this is or a, or a plant would look different because of what it's in. So, you know, there's no, um, there's no skull with an eye socket going on here, right? There's no like, oh, here's a nose and then here's the eye socket and then here's like a cheekbone and then here's the eye in the socket and then here's the skin wrapped around the eyeball, you know, like there's a lot going on that's not here, but at the same time, it's a monster. Uh, so how realistic do we need to be, right? Uh, uh, so at that same time, let's say this is the forest floor and this thing's just like hanging out out of the forest floor like this and the eye is just like hanging out looking for looking for lost hikers yeah we don't care about how realistic it is maybe if it's just a bit smaller right so you could picture in the background in the anatomy there's like a cavity in this creature so remember you know we've been drawing skeletons and stuff like that we had a whole class not a whole class but we dedicated a class to drawing animals and skeletons and stuff like that and uh that's for a reason right so if this is fleshy if this is a creature and it has guts what would that look like and, and how you know what i mean Uh, if it's a creature, does it have a skeleton? If it's if it's a tree or a plant, I mean, what's what's its anatomy? So you could even do like a cross section uh, and draw its guts first. You know, just pretend this is going to end up in an art book, not in a tree, right? Exactly. Pretend it's going to end up in an art book, and your director, your uh, art director, says, "Okay, this is great, but I need the anatomy. How does this work?" Now you gotta do that, right? How's that gonna function? So, you could say it's a knot in a tree and then there's the, what if there's multiple, <laughs> right? What if every time this plant got a knot, an eye came out, right? So it's, this is just one big knot. So there's, this one has one big eye, but you know, over here, Yeah, I'll just keep, I like your idea, I'll just keep going with it. I wouldn't get too self-conscious about it. It's cool and terrifying. But the only way you're going to sell it is with more detail. So, um, I maybe wouldn't be too concerned with drawing the roots. Um, I would just draw... Because, you know, the roots of a tree are huge, right? Like, if the tree's this big, the root bulb is, like, huge, right? If you ever seen a tree uprooted, the root bulb is massive. So if this thing can get up out of the ground and walk around, then maybe you've got little, like, you know, feet like you've got here. So it, like, uproots itself and walks around. Like some sort of forest cephalopod. <laughs> um... It all depends on what you want to do with it. Um, but the key is detail, right? Like, I don't want you to just turn in something like this with nothing in the middle. Uh, if it is knots, I want to see it. Make it a knot. Put the tree around it. If there's more than one eye. You know, make it look like a tree. Make it look like knots. Do, do do the thing and then if it's a if it's a if it's a bulb of, of uh... okay so it's not gonna be a big old bulb of, of roots then okay so it can uproot itself 
Cool. I love it. Say it's say it's got little uh, little uh, extra roots. It can like shoot out to embed itself in, right? Because if it's eating something big like a deer, it's gonna need to really plant itself in to take a bite, right? So say it can like extract these little miniature roots. Once once it digs in, these little things go and uh, and stick in and keep itself there. And then uh, I would I would personally I would stray away from teeth at the top. This chair sucks. My back hurts so bad. Ugh, if anybody wants to donate four hundred dollars, I can really use a new chair. Um, just kidding. Uh, I would stay away from teeth just because teeth seems too easy. Um, not to rag on EP, who wasn't here to defend themselves <laughs> um, when I was talking about their work. But as you can tell, this tooth is sort of the go-to tooth for th t people doing teeth. Wow. Repeat that five times fast, right? Um, so as you can tell, uh, that's sort of the go-to shape for teeth usually. So I would try to find something that's a little more animalistic, a little more nature, like a Venus flytrap has like lashes. They look like eyelashes for, for uh, what it uses to cage things in that look a little more, well, I mean, they literally look like eyelashes. Um, you know, and that'll be difficult and it'll take more time, but maybe that'll be more terrifying, right? Um, of course, like <laughs> a tree that just looks, um, like a human mouth with like saliva and teeth and red, like flesh, awful, right? Genuinely horrifyingly awful, no doubt. So if you just had a gnarled tree with just like a real animalistic mouth, freaking awful. So, um, but maybe just don't do the typical, like, bear tooth, you know what I mean? Or, 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 or cat tooth, you know? Um, and even... Yeah, that could be cool. I like that. Sorry, our chat is really delayed, so... I think I see your question, like, 60 seconds to a minute after... 60 seconds to a minute, 30 seconds to a minute after you send it. My brain is, I think I'm dehydrated. My brain is fried right now. I am a, my brain is a fried egg at the moment. Um, uh, da, 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 da. But yeah, there's our, uh, there's our chat window. We'll go back to that. But yeah, I think you get it. Just dump in detail, right? Have fun with it. Um, Yeah, and then and then if it's like the knot of a tree, the knot, I don't know, just look up knots, look up tree knots. Um, a lot of them look like eyes already anyway. I think that's where people get the idea, to be honest. Oh boy, I've got too many windows open. I don't even know where my browser is anymore. There we go. Um, So, depending on the tree, do they run... Wow, look at that one. That's pretty. Do they run... No, oh, it's just sort of... <laughs> that's awful. Yeah, a lot of them look like eyes already anyway. And it looks like there's no real rhyme or reason to it. Um, sometimes they're vertical. Sometimes they're at an angle. Sometimes they run with the grain against it. There's really no sense to it. So, it looks like you can do it literally whatever you want. But see all that texture? That's what I want. I know it's going to be a pain to draw, you know, four times. But, uh, you're the one that chose to do a tree. <laughs> Just kidding. 
But um, so yeah, looks awesome. Keep it up. Your ideas are great. Just just finalize them. You know, turn your ideas into into uh, designs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, next. We got more Ethan drawings. Ethan's been turning around his uh, tailor. <laughs> Charming. You got a little. You got a little pooch. Yep, that's good. Uh, his head looks like it changes shapes as you turn it around a little bit. I don't know how to fix that. I think it's maybe just this one. Like this looks a little more narrow than this guy. Uh, I'd also love to see you draw bigger. It sort of looks like you're doing just the amount of detail that you've got the real estate for. And this looks I don't know what size this is. This was this uh, the back of an 11 by 17 folded in half. So you're drawing pretty big already. I just look at the I'm looking at the size of the graphite or you know the pencil, and it looks like you know it's pretty thick already. And and the bigger you draw, the more details you can cram in, right? What if you gave him like uh, loose, like old man baggy whitey tidies? Tidy whiteies. So there's like slack in the butt. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then maybe there's like holes in the band. It's like a minute. <laughs> like, yeah. Like just a little too short for short shorts. Also, uh, there's probably an eye domination thing going on right here. Uh, your character's sort of like going this way. Um, if you catch yourself doing it, draw yourself a nice vertical line. Try to keep things nice and well. I mean, he's probably a mess. So how straight is he gonna be, right? But uh, stuff like that so uh, so yeah you're gonna finish it digitally so give yourself a nice big canvas so you can uh, give yourself more room for details right just make it really gnarly lots of details a lot of skin folds like I said some of those muscle striations we were talking about earlier
Yeah, that's cool though. A lot of details to tighten up. A lot of guidelines to make sure everything's hunky dory. Uh, if his head is misshapen, then don't worry about fixing this. Um, but yeah, it's looking good. Nice and scary. Yeah, it's. I actually have a whole video on it in the channel called uh, Eye Dominance. You have something called a uh, astigmatism, so your eyes are shaped differently. Just like me. So, without a doubt, every time I draw, I can even pull up the last thing I drew. And if I flip it, if I flip the canvas left to right, it looks all skewed. Like the, somebody took the top half and, and slid it over to the side. Because I have a different shaped eye, so I literally can't draw things straight. It takes a lot of, like, correcting and uh, observation to make sure all my pictures don't come out like crap. So... All right, last one in the chat. We got Spencer's bug. And I'm going to take a five minute break or so. Come back and we can do some uh, drawing in the chat. And then uh, maybe help you guys brainstorm and work on your assignments while we're hanging out here. Just like class. Man. I do not feel good though. I can tell you that right now. I don't know what's going on. I'm obviously not uh, coughing, so it's not the bug. I didn't catch the bug. I haven't left the house. I just feel like poop. It's also four o'clock. I've only had a bowl of cereal. Who knows? Yeah. I think a lot of people. Either a lot of people have the astigmatism, so it's normal, or um, or a lot of people just draw uneven things or whatever. But like, ooh, that's pretty. But yeah, I think uh, drawing things that are crooked is pretty common, for whatever reason. So we got Spencer's bug. I love it. It's very cool. I would like to see the, these legs be a lot bigger. Uh, it looks like his upper torso is just dominating the uh, anatomy and that's that's not uh, doesn't doesn't really work like I would love to see like the weight ratio right yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna probably shower grab a bite quick snack and then uh, pound some water and then sit back down and draw with you guys so it'll take like five ten minutes um, but anyway, Spencer, if you're listening, uh, the torso, I would love to see have more of a this kind of ratio. So there's, uh, so the torso is a little more even with the bottom half. Also, I know it's just a sketch, but make sure you've got uh, enough joints for these legs. A lot of, uh, what's an anthropod? Is anthropod the right word? And I need to know what anthropod means. That's a sea, sea creature. No, oh, anthropod is an invertebrate animal having an exoskeleton. Okay, segmented exoskeleton. So a lot of anthropods have like three sections to their legs with variable widths right did you get that variable widths not heights there's no h and there's no second h in height so it's not heights but it is widths so <laughs> uh Yeah, how cool is that? Um, and then if you look at, ugh, this is awful. If you look at, uh, uh, no, 
If you look at just this snapshot of anthropods, I don't know what this little blue thing is in the middle, but <laughs> I don't know what that is. But the you know, you look at a tarantula and there's like one, two, three, four. If you look at these little sea creatures, there's a bunch of spindly ones. If you look at the spider, they're all long. Uh so yeah, you've got uh different uh, size legs and stuff like that. So you could do the big fat ones like a crab. You could do the long spindly ones, more like a spider. You could mix it up. Also, probably don't cross his arms, just for the sake that we can see what you're working with. Uh, you know, don't exactly do a T-pose, because you don't really have a character that's conducive for that, but you know, putting their arms out. Might show us more what you're working with. Makes sense. And then, uh, and then we're going to have to do a turnaround for the wings. Because right now they're just like hanging out up there. Uh, arthropod, not anthropod. Did I get it wrong? Oh yeah, anthropod's a bipedal humanoid. <laughs> arthropod is a segmented exoskeleton. Thank you, Ethan. Arthropod. We are anthropods. That's a little too close, uh, Latin. Can we, uh... There's no similarity between these two things. <laughs> Can we, uh, space that out a little bit? For Pete's sake. Uh, um, Alright, so for the wings... off the back would require a lot of real estate so if this is your your bugger and this is the, the torso we just created with the one two three legs and then this is your head with your arms You know, where's where are the wings coming out? You have an extra like shell right here where the wings live. Cause even was it uh, flies like fold their wings in half before they go in. A lot of beetles do too, where they're they're all crimped up on top of each other. It's really cool when they do that. Um, oh, ladybugs. Yeah, check this out. Isn't that cool? It's crazy, those little like cellophane, cellophane looking clear plastic things have enough. Look, and now they're just gonna like fold up into the shell like that. It's crazy. Right, so looking at that, how is that going to influence your design, right? So is your fella going to have uh, a pod here on his back that that opens up and then the, the big old wing folds out from underneath it did I just solve this problem for you <laughs> you just be like yes that's what's happening now <laughs> yes what you said uh 
Um, the other solution too is that you've got this situation here with no shell on the back. Keep the back like a centaur. It's just a human body slapped on a bug, but then you've got uh, so this is what the thorax, and this is the abdomen, and this what the, what's the what's a bug butt called? Isn't that a thorax? I don't know, but um, so this is, could be where the wings live. This is this is the meat and potatoes of character design right here, guys. Especially getting into monsters and stuff, because we're not just like drawing people. So now you get to think about like, what do I know about bugs? What do I know about creatures? What do I know about anatomy and design? And how do I design a creature to sort of make sense, right? So you just slap wings on the back of somebody, and now you just look like somebody who bought wings at Walgreens and went to an anime convention. And you're like, I'm a fairy, right? But like. What, how would a bug have wings? Why does that bug have wings? Where do the wings go when the wings aren't out, right? This is what it takes to be a character designer. Where do I put the wings when they're gone? So, uh, what kind of shell is it going to live in? Does the shell open up? Is it like a beetle? Is it like a ladybug? Is it like a locust? Uh, is it like a bee where they're always out? Or a wasp or whatever, you know? Start looking at these things. What looks the coolest? Like, uh, I don't know if uh, Elijah's here, but Elijah did like six pages of bug notes before he did his last like super spiny ladybug that he did for the last assignment dude did his research so uh elijah if you're here good job but like look at bugs see which one you like sounds like you just found one you like but uh this is this is what makes character design fun this is why we do robots and bugs and stuff and uh monsters because drawing people is sometimes just a little too easy uh yeah, yeah. All right, last. Last up, before I take my quick little break, I'll leave the music up and I'll leave the stream going. I'll put like a Be Right Back thing up there, so don't nobody go nowhere. But uh, I want to show this off because this is awesome. Yeah, yeah. very cool. <laughs> Definitely somebody uh, stricken by being underwater a little too long. Or it's a uh, cephalopod using a human as a, <laughs> as a, as a home. <laughs> Good concept, don't even know what to say at this point. Also don't know enough, but it's also not finished, but it's a great start. I just wanted you guys to see it, how cool is that? Very good. Very nice. Give you a chance to respond in case uh, I can I can jam off that, off of what you're saying. Uh, like I said, when I get back, we'll draw together. I've got this uh, this app up here. AGO, AG, Aggie. I don't know how to. Aggie.io. And uh, we'll jam. We'll jam on here. We'll draw together. Have some fun. Um, But yeah, y'all keep chilling. Keep working on your homework or whatever you're doing. Uh, if you're not in my class, you're hanging out. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Uh, listen to some music. Uh, I will be drawing with you guys when I get back. But I need to take a quick break. Yes. Probably 10 minutes. Okay. So y'all keep chilling. I will be right back.
I made it back. I'm alive. I feel a little less poopy. I think I was just sitting still for too long. Uh, I'm definitely only hang out for another half hour or so. And then I'm going to go on with the rest of my day. Probably make myself an actual meal. Uh, and so forth and so on. You don't need to know everything. I just have stuff to do. So there. But while I'm here, let's draw some stuff. Um, I might start a new page. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to start. I lost control of my own. How do I change layers? <laughs> These all locked for some reason. How do I start over? I can't change layers. I'm locked out. I guess I could do this. B -b -b quick new. Bam. All right. Can I rename this? I can. All right, so we're drawn together. If you're in the Discord, the link has been posted again, so you can join us. Oh, wait, is that a different? Oh. Yeah, I think I just ditched the old one. That kind of sucks. Oh, well. Sorry, all the old one's gone. <laughs> but yeah, new, new link in the Discord. Come join us. Um, I guess I could post it in the YouTube. I don't know. Nah, we'll make this, we'll make this Webster only. And we're back. All right, so it's monster time. If I had to brainstorm a monster, which I actually kind of have to, I've got one coming up in my book. <laughs> I also realize it's really loud. Let me turn that down. Holy crap. Sorry, guys. Right. The music is back down to acceptable volumes. Yeah, I got the volumes backwards. Sorry, everybody. See, I shouldn't mess with my levels. That's what happens. Okay, so that should be... Yeah, I did. <laughs> I'm new at this. <laughs> okay, that's back to normal, I think. Sorry to mess with everybody's uh, volume settings if you had to change it. I usually don't do that. I usually just keep it the same. That's what I get, right? Okay, I wasn't saying anything useful. I was just sort of rambling. I was saying how adorable that snail is, though.
I don't know. I guess I need a request. What should I draw? What should I draw, you guys? Anybody need any help with anything in this last half hour? Sort of covered that, I suppose. <laughs> Eviction notice. <laughs> uh, France has the uh, uh, Macron, the um, prime minister, has suspended all utility payments and rent payments. And I think he said taxes. Everything's just on freeze. How crazy cool is that? So if you're in France right now, all utilities are free. And I bet they've probably ut utilitized... Uh, internet over there too I guess I think they're on I don't know if they're on full lockdown like Italy or Spain but it's still incredible Shortcuts are the same as Photoshop. That's amazing. Oh, gee, I wonder who's drawing Steven. change my brush size. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, it looks like Steven Universe. Oh, it is Steven Universe. Okay. <laughs> what is happening? What is that?
Time disintegration, that was cool. <laughs> oh, here's a monster idea. So something that like the uh, the big fish, the angler fish, but with like a person on the on the end of the thing. What if there's like a giant monster that eats uh, child molesters, <laughs> and he lures them in on his little uh, lure with like a a child. <laughs> so like he's in a dark alley somewhere, and a guy chases the the kid into an alley and then the big giant mouth <laughs> eats him. <laughs> Is that too dark? I don't know. I love it. I think it's incredible. <laughs> I don't know. And it's gone. All right. Later, man. Thanks for hanging out. See you in the Discord. See you next week. No sweat if you guys want to leave at this point. We're obviously uh, not being too academic here. <laughs>
Just blowing off some steam, right? Yeah, it was fun. Another 20 minutes for me, guys. I'm going to go uh, do other things. up until this point maybe <laughs> I'll just mean this exact moment where we're drawing nonsense <laughs> All right, well, you're, you're allowed. Sure. Yeah, I hear that. Yep, yep.
All right, Ethan, thanks for hanging out. See you in a bit. Another 10 minutes or so for me, guys. Okie doke. It was fun. Thanks for hanging out.
All right, see you later. Glad you liked it. Let's see if I can keep that up. Alright guys, it's about that time. I need to go take care of myself. I need to go eat something. <sighs> and just have the rest of a day. Just like the rest of all of you. I need to also. So, thanks for hanging out. This picture is extremely weird and I love it. <laughs> uh, I'll throw a 
throw it in the Discord in case anybody couldn't make it. And, uh, yeah, so thanks for hanging out, guys. I'll see you in a week, and I'll see you on the Discord. Uh, good night, everybody.